Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will learn how to SSH into an EC2 instance from a Mac computer. To SSH into an EC2 instance from a Mac computer, the first thing we will do is launch the EC2 instance. To launch your EC2 instance, type EC2 in the search box and select EC2 under services. On the EC2 dashboard, scroll down. Select Launch Instance and select Launch Instance again. To launch my EC2 instance, I am using the new console. If you are still on the old console, click here and toggle this button on to go to the new console. I'm going to close this. To launch the EC2 instance, the first thing we will do is give the EC2 instance a name. I'll call it my EC2. Once you've given the EC2 instance a name, scroll down. Under Application and OS Images, this is where we will select our AMI. Select the Quick Start tab, and on the Quick Start tab, select Amazon Linux. Under Amazon Machine Image AMI, make sure Amazon Linux 2 is selected and it is the free tier. Scroll down. We will leave the description as default. Scroll down. The instance type is going to be T2 Micro. Scroll down. Under key pair, select this drop down and select the key pair we created previously. Then scroll down. Under network settings, click edit. And here, the first thing we will do is select the VPC we want to launch the EC2 instance in. Currently, we only have the default VPC in our account. So that VPC has been selected. Under subnet, select this drop down and you can pick any subnet you want. It doesn't really matter at this point and all these subnets are the same. I'll select US East 1A. Then scroll down. Under Firewall Security Groups, select Create Security Group, then give your security group a name. I'll call this security group SSH Security Group. Then I'm going to enter the description for this security group. The security group we are creating will allow us to SSH into our EC2 instance. I'm going to scroll down. Under inbound rule, the type of rule we want to open is SSH, and SSH is on port 22. This will allow us to SSH into our EC2 instance. For the source type, select this drop down and select my IP. Anytime you are creating a security group rule to SSH into your EC2 instance, you should always limit it to your IP address. This means that only the computer that are connected to my IP address will be able to SSH into my EC2 instance. Then scroll down. Under Configure Storage, we will leave it as default, and we will also leave everything else as default. Once you have selected your settings, you can review the summary here. We are using Amazon Linux 2. The instance type is T2 Micro. We are creating a new security group, and we are using the default storage volume. Once you have reviewed your settings, click Launch Instance. There you go, we have successfully launched the EC2 instance. Click view all instances here. We have launched the EC2 instance and the instance state is running. I'm going to click refresh up here. And here the status check is initializing. While we are waiting for the status check to be completed, to SSH into your EC2 instance from a Mac computer, the first thing I want you to do is open your terminal. Anytime you open the terminal, I want you to note that the terminal will always open to your home directory. And what I mean by this is, if you select the finder here, when you open finder, some of the directories on your computers will be listed here. If you don't see the home directory, select finder here and select preferences. And in here, check the home directory. The home directory is the one that has the icon home and next to it, you will see your name there. 
Once you have checked the home directory, you can close the preferences. And now if you look here, you'll see the home directory here. I'll select it. So basically what I'm trying to show you is anytime you open your terminal, your terminal always open to this home directory. You can see the name here. It's the same name as the one here. For example, in the terminal, if you type ls and press enter, you will see that the same directories you have in here are the same directories that you are seeing here. Once you have opened the terminal and the terminal has opened to your home directory, in here, we will type the command to SSH into our EC2 instance. Before you type the command to SSH into your EC2 instance, there's one thing I want you to do. Remember when we created the key pair in the last lecture, the private key of our key pair was downloaded into the downloads directory. So if I go into this downloads directory, my key pair is there. The first thing I want you to do is move this key pair from this downloads directory into your home directory. To move this private key from the downloads directory into the home directory, you can select it, then you can click to hold it and drag it here. That's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is you can right click on it, click copy, then come to your home directory, right click anywhere in here and click paste item. Once you have pasted your key pair in there, go back to your downloads directory. You can delete this key pair. I'll right click on it and select move to trash. So now we have moved our key pair from the downloads directory into the home directory. Once you have moved your key pair into the home directory, come back to your terminal. In your terminal, remember we are in the home directory. If you type ls and press enter, you'll see the key pair there. The next thing we will do is change the permission on this key to allow us to SSH into the EC2 instance. To change the permission on this private key, you will type chmod 400 and the name of the key. This is the command you will use to change the permission on your key. It is chmod 400 and the name of your key pair. Make sure you also include the .m at the end. Once you type this command, press enter. This is all we need to do to change the permission on the key. Now we can use this key to SSH into our EC2 instance. To use this key to SSH into your EC2 instance, you are going to type this command. It is SSH space minus I space the name of your key pair. Once you enter the name of your key pair, make sure you also include the dot pem at the end, add another space. Next, we will type ec 2 user at. Once you type ec 2 user at, let's go back to the management console. And we are going to select our ec 2 instance. Copy the public IPv4 address of your ec 2 instance by clicking this box. Once you copy the public IPv4 address, go back to your terminal and paste it after the add sign. This is the full command we will use to SSH into our EC2 instance. It is SSH minus I, the name of our key pair, space, EC2 iPhone user at the public IPv4 address. One thing I want you to note is if your key pair is in a different directory, you have to specify the full path to that directory here. Because my key pair is also in my home's directory, I can just include the name here. This is the reason why I told you to move your key pair from the downloads directory into the home directory. So once you've typed this full command, press the return key. The first time you SSH into your EC2 instance, it will ask you this question. Type yes and press the return key. We have successfully SSH into our EC2 instance from a Mac computer. The next thing I want you to do is terminate your EC2 instance in the management console. Select your EC2 instance and select Instance State and select Terminate Instance. Then click Terminate. We have successfully terminated the EC2 instance. This is how you SSH into an EC2 instance from a Mac computer. If you have any questions or there's any part of this lecture you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.